conventional mindsets of the audience. And uh, uh, I, I, I really do not know like uh, how many students would like to pursue a career in United Nations. I know that you that Amity International School uh, is one of its kind, you know, which has AIMUN. But is it possible for uh, those who want to pursue a career or at least have, have an interest uh, to pursue a career in in United Nations? Can they raise their hands uh, over Microsoft Teams? Is it possible? And uh, yeah, uh, let me tell you, let me tell you that uh, a career in United Nations, like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm part of it. Uh, will you can actually contribute to change the world? A social service which is unpaid or which is lowly paid, it's not like that. You are uh, you, you are paid for what you actually do. So uh, um, I uh, in 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 units of India, I am almost 24 by 7. Right now I provide technical guidance and contribute to handling the COVID-19 response uh, uh, of UNICEF in, in India. Uh, I am a doctor and I'm in, in, in UN. So uh, I will give you three examples uh, or rather maybe two examples and then I will leave with some message. The first example which uh, I'll display here. I don't know how many of you can uh, can see, but I I, I read it. Uh, I put it here. Is I I I, I will read it out. Is kuch kuch hatke kar dikhana hai. No. So do what no one else has done. For me, uh, my um, in my academics, uh, where, where, uh, when I was pursuing my my MBBS. In fact, friends, actually, I didn't want to go into medicine at all. I wanted to be an engineer, but I was very, very thin. And so my my, my parents, because I had also had good I had good academics to go into medicine, they say you go into medicine, you know, so that time we used to listen to parents. I went into medicine, did my MBBS, but I was not so much uh, inclined into having a hospital based uh, uh, based service or confined to a to to a laboratory. I wanted to do something different. So. Uh, in fact, I could have become a general surgeon. My, my my marks were really good. I could have become a surgeon, so it will have been MBBS MS. But. Uh, as I was pursuing uh, MBBS, I chanced upon a subject where no one else goes, you know, or, or very, very few of them go, which is preventive and social medicine. So you must have heard that uh, doctors are say child specialist, eye specialist, orthopedician, obstetric, obstetricians, gynecologist, etc., etc. But I choose a subject where no one else want to go, or 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 very few people want to go, and that and that was a subject which was community oriented, and it is also known as public health in in India. It is known as MD in public health. So that was a uh, for me. Kuch, uh, kuch hatke kar dikhana hai. You know, do where no one else has has gone. I will uh, perhaps that was in my genes because uh, well, like I, I I done before that many things which people had not thought of doing. Like for example. Uh, uh, when when these children were playing beautiful music, I could relate to my time. Uh, in the ninth and tenth standard, I had in ninth and tenth standard. Tenth standard is a very crucial year. I had joined an an orchestra. I, I, I was actually doing uh, uh, doing uh, Congo that type of playing Congo. So for me, like doing what no one else does, is is one example. Second. Second, which I which I will say is accept challenges and uh, don't shy away from uh, from coming out of a comfort zone and be hands on. I'll say this is very important being hands on, you know, so I went to those places 
in my career when no one where no one else wanted to go. So, for example, I started my career right from a uh, right from a, a PH. That's a primary health center level. Then I moved to a to a district level. I was I was the youngest uh, officer, a medical officer to join WHO in India that time uh, in 2000 and posted in in Badayun district, a district where there were like I was in charge of polio eradication, a district where there were 101 new polio cases in a year. Now there is not a single case in India. A single district had 101 polio cases, and that was the highest number of case for, for polio in the entire world in, in any district. I was made in charge of that. Later on, I was transferred to Bihar. That time there was so much of law and order problem. If you if you remember in 2000, you know, if if, if some of you must have been been there that, that time, I don't know. Then I was posted to Buster Chati. I, I never refused those kind of, of postings. Tsunami. Uh, when tsunami came, I was into Andaman and Nicobar Islands. I went by helicopter to Campbell Bay Island, which is the which is the southernmost part of, of India. Returned by 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 ship a a, a a two days two night journey, you know, handled uh, floods of Karnataka, Chennai, Kerala, uh, posted posted in the in the in the in the northeastern states, and also for the Bangladesh Rohingya crisis, I had actually gone to Cox's Bazar. So, this all gives you a hands-on experience. My message here is that accept challenges, be hands-on. You know, uh, and go from from uh, I'll say from uh, from the basics, you know, to uh, to 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 sophisticated one. I still know that many of many of the of the students directly want to reach the top. No, go from go from uh, from from the basics. Start from from the basics, and then slowly or maybe even 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 rapidly grow up into in, into your career that gives you a lot of solid experience you can't aap hawa mein nahi bol sakte hai, hai? because when there are policy decisions which have been taken at 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 the national level up you cannot speak in the in the air third one uh, which i will like to uh, which uh, i like to give an example there are many uh, many uh, many uh, many many uh, first things were done you know for example uh, how many of you have actually got covid-19 vaccines you have been received covid-19 vaccines can you just e raise your hand right and uh, do you remember by which syringe it was administered it was administered by a plastic syringe which is now known as an auto destruct syringe so once it's it's used it cannot be reused okay but earlier in india friends your mother and father or even me i was vaccinated through a glass syringe and which can be reused and 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 the needle could can be can also be reused once it's boiled and, and sterilized so India got away from it. How? I was in charge of doing a pilot project of introduction of auto disable syringes in Mysore and Uttarakhand and Uttar Kannada districts of of Karnataka. So what I want to say is we need to have an hands on experience. That was it. That was in 2005. 2004 and 2005. Later on in 2006, government of India decided it to scale up. So uh there are so many other examples which i can which i can give you but my message here is that you need to be hands on uh third is which i have heard many times is that doctors they do not uh, a few weeks ago there was also an article that doctors needs to uh, be more tuned to the social sciences i fully agree with that and there was also an article where which said that doctors need to have a curriculum of social sciences. In fact, there is already this preventive and social medicine uh, uh, subject on in which you can do an, an, an MD. And 
based on that, then you are a public health expert. During this lockdown, like today you are all, uh, all, all, all at home. Even during the second wave and in the first wave, there are these lockdowns, you know. So, but there is a lot of, when you are confined to your homes, there's a lot of things which are happening at behind the scenes, backstage. Hospitals were never closed. So who works at, at, this, at this backstage? These are these public health experts like me. There are other public health experts also in this country who devise these health policies, health programs. You know. However, I will also like to acknowledge that many of you, many of you want to uh, want to become a doctor, engineer, lawyer. You know, but these are these are run of the mill, uh, I'll say, uh, academics or say careers. And recently, uh, many of uh, many people, many students are now branching out to other careers as well, uh, which I could actually see uh, during this TED talk. However, who had saved us uh, during this pandemic? It is where people actually do not want to go. For example, BSc. Who wants to do an BSc? Who wants to do an, an MSc? For example, the vaccine developers are not doctors, they are not engineers. Those are the ones who had done a course on say uh, on, on, on biochemistry, on microbiology. People usually don't like to go in that in that area, but then these are the ones which actually develop something which is novel. So the vaccine developer, the vaccine development, drug development, you know, uh, with this, uh, when you come to uh, like uh, I am in 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 UNICEF. Similarly, there are others who are in in various other UN organizations. UN is an inter intergovernmental agency, so you have an opportunity to maneuver others' life. Friends, every one of you will achieve success. I have no doubt in that. You know, you will have your own. Passion, you will have your own uh, creativity. You will have your own own, I'll say, uh, X factor. But how much of that success is a satisfactory success counts? How far can you make a change in the life of not only you, but of the uh, but of others? Hence, I'll repeat: we had to come out of the comfort zone. Uh, friends, slow, uh, shortly I'll be moving uh, out of India and I'll be going to uh, to Kabul, Afghanistan, and in and uh, where uh, there is a whole lot of, uh, of 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 turmoil which is happening, which you have already heard. My last and final word is tread the untreaded path and don't forget uh, what Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam has had, had said had said. If you want to shine like a sun, you'll have to burn like a sun. Thank you so much.